Welcome everyone. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're glad to have you here um, for our Beanstack webinar. And the purpose of this webinar today, we want to provide you with the tools to be able to join in virtually with our summer reading program and record your reading on Beanstack, which is our reading program platform. This year's summer reading theme is It's About Time. We are celebrating the past, present, and future. By participating in our summer reading program, you are becoming part of our huge community of readers. We love books, we love to read, and we love to share that reading passion with others. So your goal this summer that we want you to, to accomplish is to read. Simple as that. We want you guys to read. Um, you will record every day that you read or listen to a book for 20 minutes or more. Anyone in your family can participate. You can make it fun, a challenge within your family, see who can read the most. Um, also, new this year, you can earn points for activities that you complete or for attending virtual library programs or writing book reviews that might encourage someone else to read a book that you really felt passionately about. Um, so lots of ways to earn points this summer. If you have a student at Zionsville Community Schools, uh, we are partnering with them again. They will, your student will be recognized by the schools in the fall if your child reads more 50 or more days this summer. So that's a lofty goal, but we know we have some strong, strong readers out there in the community. Um, and it's a great goal to try to achieve. So let us turn things over to Miss Laura and she is going to tell you how to join our community of readers and record for your family. Miss Laura. Welcome. Okay. Now I am going to share with you um, the screen of our web page so you can figure out how to navigate our web page to find the Beanstack login. You should be seeing our screen now. I am going to point up here towards the top. There's this little button here that says summer reading. I am going to log in to my Beanstack account. Oops, I've already logged in, so I'm gonna sign out so you can see what it looks like. No, I can't, okay. So I you know, here's, here's the opening page of our Beanstack account. If you have done summer reading before, you can log in with last year's login information. If you have, uh, you're not sure of the information and you want to log in, you can, um, sign in this way. If you want to recover your username and password, there's a way to do that. There's also a way that you can email us at beanstackinfo at library.org and there will be a button on there that you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already logged in on this page. So um, we're going to log in on this page and you can see here that I've logged in to my account. And I have little library lion here for you. <laughs> okay, so once you get in, then you can navigate all these buttons here. And Miss Julie is going to talk to you a little bit more about um, some of the features in the, the app that are very similar to what's here on the web page. Okay, so I am going to go back a little bit here. If you need to register for summer reading, and you want to create an account, you will have to fill out a bunch of fields. You'll need to fill out one as the adult reader and then one as your um, child or the rest of your family who will belong in your account. And Miss Julie is going to go into more detail about that. So at this point, I'm just going to show you how to log reading for the past three days. Okay. So this is confusing because this button up here has changed from the left side and different sides, but I'm gonna go ahead and log reading and activity. Oop, I gotta get back in. I gotta get back into my challenge. Okay, now I can log 
reading and activity. Okay, so as you see, we have different family members here. Um, Miss Julie's going to show you that some more. She's got lots in her family, <laughs> her test family. So I'm going to go ahead and record days. Days will earn you points. Activities will earn you points. Books will earn you points if you do a book review. You can only get two points a week if you do a book review. We're, we are trying to keep it simple so everybody would record days. And you can see here, I've already recorded a few days on here, but I'm going to record today. So I click that button and I hit log. Boom! I received one point. Okay, so then I'm done. And then if I wanted to, to record a book review, you will see there's reviews over here. And you can earn badges for recording book reviews. You will see that up here at the top, it says add a review. You can write a review. There's a new thing, post a picture re review that you can, you can test out. So uh, now I'm going to pass this on to Miss Julie. And I will stop screening, sharing this screen, and I will post her PowerPoint here next. Go ahead, Miss Julie, you can start talking and I'll get your PowerPoint ready. I'll unmute. You can do anything um, with summer reading from your phone if you download the Beanstack app. So just go to your app store and type in Beanstack. It's all one word, B-E-A-N stack. And um, if you already have the app, you want to make sure to update. They have updated it, so um, it's a little bit easier to use. The, um, so as long as you have the updated version of the app, um, it's pretty easy to do. You, can, you already have an account if you've done summer reading in the past two years. So even if you did not create a Beanstack account, we probably created a Beanstack account for you. So um, if you need help, if it already says that you have an account, um, you can email us at beanstackinfo um, at sciencevillelibrary.org or call us or talk through us to, through library chat um, because you're, you may not know that you have an account, but we have kept an account for all of the children that we've kept track of. So to, um, you can create your account if you're a new patron and just moved here, never done the library program. You can create your account through the app. It's going to ask for a lot of information. And like Miss Laura said, it's going to be, you want to put the parents' information first. The children are umbrellaed under the parents. So um, we have one main reader and everybody else is underneath them. If children are at least 14 years of age, then they can create their own account if that's okay with you, or they can be on your account as well. So it asks for a lot of information. We wanna make sure that we have your correct phone number and email, because if you win one of the drawings, then we will contact you um, through our A reading program but if you do have one it's good to put that in there um, we won't be using it this year because you won't be coming into the library to get prizes but um, in the future it will be helpful to have your library card associated with your Beanstack account because we can just scan your card and pull up your whole family so that helps our volunteers um, and we don't have to spell your name or anything it might uh, help streamline the process in the future so You'll enter the adult information and then you'll enter reader information. So you as an adult can be a reader. Your children are all readers. Everyone in your family can be a reader for our program. And we want to log days for summer reading this year. And I'm, I know this is a big change. So it's only days. Each day that you read at least 20 minutes, then log for each reader that does that. Now I was logging this morning morning in my app and I stumbled because I realized that I was, um, so you see here that it says you want to see who you're logging for. And I clicked all readers, but it wouldn't let me log there. And it was because I was in one of my children's accounts. I was in Whiskers' account. 
So that's um, something tricky. You want to make sure that you um, are in the account creator's profile if you want to log for all readers. If you want to log readers individually, you just click on their name. You can put the time in that they're reading. It's up to you. We don't care. Um, we just want to know that you've read today for 20 minutes. So um, Beanstack will keep track and um, and very good. This is showing us, um, it's very easy. It, it leads you through everything that you need to do and asks for all the information. So um, here's the page. If you go into the app, um, you'll click on that reading um, icon and then you'll hit log a day. And then it'll ask for how many minutes you read today. You can just say I read today and and be done, or you can put in a number, it doesn't matter. So you can do that from the app or from the website, either one. And I think we're gonna pass it on now. And we have some activities that, this is new this summer, so Andrea's gonna talk about that. Thanks, Julie. Hi, Miss Andrea here with another cool thing to share with you about our summer reading program. Did you know that besides logging the days you read and creating reviews for your favorite books, there's another way you can earn points this summer by completing fun activities. Some activity points can be earned on your own, but for many of them, you'll simply enter a, a secret code word that you will be given while participating in some of the library's virtual programs this summer. Now I'm going to show you how. Let me get my screen ready to share. And we will take a look at that. Okay. Get rid of that. Where you can see it. Okay, we are logged into our library test family, and this is Library Lionet. But if I want to log an activity or even see what activities are available that uh, I or my child might be interested in, I'm going to go to this log reading and activities button. And this time I'm going to say activities right here. You just say all readers or this particular reader, but I'm going to say activities. There are several different categories of activities that we have out there and sorry for background noise. They're coming to collect the trash in my neighborhood. Um, but if you look, there are uh, categories for family, youth, preschool, teen and adults. So you will find virtual programs for all different ages listed under those categories. Things in preschool would be story times that your child, your toddler or preschooler might participate in. Um, for the family programs, a lot of the virtual programs for like play and learns and even the read aloud we're doing, uh, we'll be giving codes. And you might find those multi-age programs in the family area. Right now, we're going to take a look here at the youth activities. You see up at the top, it says um, that you, how many of these activities you've completed. If under any of these categories, you complete five different activities, you're going to earn an activity badge that you'll see, as well as the individual points that you will earn for the activities themselves. And those points are what Ms. Robin's going to tell us in a little bit, what we can spend and, and um, used to try to win some fun prizes. Um, right now, we're going to take a look here in the youth activities. There are a couple different kind of activities. Um, some you will need that secret code for. Anything that you see this box that enter a secret code, you will have to type a specific thing in there. Most of the activity codes you're going to be given, you will enter in all capital letters. Very few of them you might be given a mixed case one. And if you are given one in mixed case, enter it just as it's given to you. But right now we're gonna take a look at a couple and how we use these. So this one is not uh, one that's asking for an activity code. This is a different kind of activity. Maybe your kids need some something to do, they're bored. We're gonna follow this link. Anything underlined is a link. And it's going to take us out to a different website. We have linked some resources that you and your family might enjoy. Uh, one of the ones I would noticed out here, we were going to go out to NASA and maybe take a virtual tour. 
So you can go through and find an activity. We won't actually do the tour, but once you do, you simply close your open tabs to return where you were. And when you've done one of those, check the box to let us know that you've participated in that activity and you earned your point. One of the codes where you do need to enter something specific, we're going to take a look at this. What year did the library board of the Hussey Memorial Library vote to convert it to a not good, especially for dates? So I need some help on this one. We have a link here that's going to take us to some information. So let's follow that link. It goes to a website, our websites, take it a minute and some history that we have out here. We are looking for the year that the board voted to convert it to a public library. So that year we're looking for is right here. We're gonna go back and enter this, 1988. So I'm gonna close that window and I'm gonna click on the enter secret code box to give me the area to enter it. I'm going to click the save button and it's as simple as that to earn those activity code points. When I'm done, or if I want to go to another area, I can simply click the X in the top right hand corner here and it will take me back to my, my reader view for the whole account. Now, I think I've covered everything, but if you have any questions since this is new this year with the activities, um, feel free to ask in the Q&A later. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn things over to Miss Robin. Let me stop sharing here so she can begin. And she is going to let us know what to do with all these points that we're earning. Miss Robin. All right, great. So now that you have learned how you can earn points either through um, reading each day, through doing one of the activities Miss Andrea talked about, or um, through writing a book review, I'm going to show you how to use those points so that you can get raffle tickets um, for a chance to win some really cool prizes. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. All right, so we're back here on this um, main challenge page and um, I'm going to scroll over to where it says ticket drawings down here and I'm going to click on there. And since I have um, recorded at least five days of reading, um, I have, you can see at the top, one ticket to spend um, on the challenge so far. And the more you read or the more activities you do, the more books you review, the more tickets you will earn. Um, and so then I can use those tickets to buy different chances for different prizes. And so you can scroll down um, to see the different um, prizes that are available. And each week we will draw um, tickets for somebody to win the prize. And you can see here when each one will be drawn. Now let's say that um, I want to, um, I really want this unicorn. Say I have one ticket available, so I wanna spend it on there and enter that. Um, and then let's say that I keep scrolling and then I realize, no, actually, I would rather have the Elsa doll. So I can go back and subtract that ticket and then go down and spend it on the Elsa doll. So if you change your mind, that's okay. You just want to make your decision by the time the drawing is um, done on the date that it says there. Now. Um, uh, remember, at the beginning, we talked about how um, you're going to have to enter some information. And if you've done the program in the past, you may have already entered this, but you want to make sure it's up to date. Um, so that would be like your phone number and your email address, because that's how they will notify you if you have won one of the prizes. Um, so that's why it's important to keep that up to date. Also, you can go back to this main page, the challenge page, and if you scroll down, we will also have a list of people who have won. So there's, um, there's going to be a few lists here. Each of those individual prizes that we just saw will have the winners there. 
also, each week, if you record at least two times, we're going to have some pop-up prizes and the winners will be listed there. And additionally, um, if you do at least 30 days of reading, you will be entered for a chance to win the grand prize. And um, we'll have four people that will win a grand prize and it's $250 gift cards to either um, someplace, the, the Chamber of Commerce gift card that you can use in Zionsville, a state park pass and gift card or a zoo membership and gift card. And for everybody that does at least 30 days of reading, we're going to have some um, other prizes like bubbles or a um, robot or mechanical pencil, some different things like that. So you will be able to see, um, at least for the ones, the raffle prizes, um, those winners here. So, um, and we will list the winners and notify the winners um, by the Friday after the, the drawings. So um, you can check here, but you will also be notified by that Friday. Now, once you are done um, with your session, um, whether it's entering your, you know, your raffle tickets, entering your reading, you can sign off. And so there's up here in the right hand corner, there's that little gear icon and you can just click on that and sign out. And, um, you know, just for safety reasons, we have that. Also, um, when we list the grand prize winners, the different raffle winners, we're only going to put the first name and the first letter of the last, um, the first letter of the last name. So we won't put somebody's full name on there. And I'm going to go ahead and stop screen sharing now. And if you um, have any questions or anything, you can enter that either in the chat or on Facebook with Miss Becky and, um, or Miss Becky's monitoring the Facebook to see if there's any questions that way. So if you have I'm gonna any- I'm gonna jump in here, Miss Robin, you did a great job. Um, we are so excited to share um, prizes and incentives with everybody. It's not like our, our usual this year with all our 75 teen volunteer corps members that we absolutely miss terribly. Um, we have packed up all the prizes and they'll be ready for another time um, to share with you. But um, she uh, Miss Robin talked about the possibility of uh, at 30, we do have some logo prizes that we um, will share with you if you are able to come in the library. Um, we will have a safe way to give them to you if you reach 30 or more hours of reading. Now, some people have asked, where's those beautiful reading logs that we can we can keep track? Um, we have for many years um, had wonderful logs made by a graphic artist, Annette Knox. Um, People love them. Well, she is creating a new reading record. Um, we don't want to confuse you and think that that's a way to record your reading, but it is a way for you to keep track at home and then transfer it to our um, Beanstack account. And that will be revealed on the Beanstack webpage once you log in. So um, if there's any other questions, um, let, let us know. If not, we're gonna say goodbye.